to deal with the devil. What do you need to know? Because you will win this. You will have this victory over this confrontation. And it doesn't have to be a war of words necessarily, but sometimes it is. It's a determination that whatever has gotten you or done a number on you in the past, um, a behavior that hasn't served in the past, you're done with it. It's this real, real understanding. Oh, the Knight of Swords is there. That's just the fucking truth, as simple as it can be. Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords. It's the fucking truth. The truth beats the devil every time. The devil can say whatever bullshit he wants, but the truth is the truth is the truth is the truth. And that's what you are meant to carry. It's what you carry even if you don't know you're carrying it. You're carrying it. You can't help but carry it forward, so you're going to be in your authentic self, in your own authentic power, and you're going to be owning things. She called my brother. Yeah, you've got it. The Eight of Pentacles. It's going to take some work. You're making your mark. You're doing what you need to do consistently. You've already paid your dues. This one I compare to the medical student because it's one of the best analogies I have. You're doing the work like the craftsman. You're making your mark like the craftsman over and over. You're paying attention to details. But the medical student does all of his book learning, right? Book smarts. Then he goes to the hospital and is in practice, right? He's doing his internship. He's mastered the context and the concepts and the ideas. And then he goes into the hospital and puts all of those things that he's learned to effect in his work. That's what's going on. You're putting the truth into action. In a time of uncertainty where you have to face your fears, and for about a month after this, after this confrontation, then there's this putting your, paying your dues, paying your dues. You've paid all your dues, but you're still in this little bit of a shifty, changey time. It's going to be a little bit scary to conflict, con to confront, to have the conflict of it there. Yeah. To confront that is going to be a little bit of conflict and to work through it. It's going to take a little while before it starts to feel like it's healing at all. And it's going to feel a little bit fearful. Don't underestimate yourself. Look what came next. The star. Now the star has Sharpie clothes from Angie. This is a beautiful deck, but I had to Sharpie it. But yeah, the star is hope, healing, true north and second chances for your own hopes and dreams. That's what's going on in your interior world. Let's see what's going on down here in the interior world. Let's see what's going on. The big cup here, the big cup here, two of cups. You're offering more love to self. Offering more love and overflow comes after that. After here, this overflow of love is coming, 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 coming. You're walking away from anything that leaves you, not necessarily with a sour taste, but leaves you longing. When you know that there's a yearning to go to it with a certain direction, you will. If something feels like it's um, unsatisfying, you're going to know it. You won't dwell there. You, you have no business being there. You have no business being chained to something that doesn't serve you any further. Two of Wands, you're looking out, you see what's here, what's on the horizon, and you decide you want more. More for yourself, more for your life. You want more expansion and bigness, you're going to go forward. Victory card here with the Six of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Knowing the truth, this is a gracious knowledge, and look at that sword. She's not holding it, tra traditionally it's held and it's kind of upright, right? She's planted the tip of the sword down into something. She's, she's made her point and she's sticking to it. It's no more cuts are necessary, she's just sticking to what she needs to stick to. <laughs> the sticking point is the sticking point, and that's just all there is to the matter. Anything else? Crossing over the two of it. Crossing over the Knight of Swords and the Page of Wands is the Magician. The full-on ability to summon the skills, the full-on knowledge of each of the elements, each of the things that you need to do. You'll have the ability. You know what misdirection is. You know the art of misdirection. You aren't falling for bullshit. You know the truth of the thing, and you know what real magic is versus phony delusion. You, you just know it. You know when an illusion is created. You know when somebody's doing spin doctor nonsense and telling you nonsense. You're just not having it. This this ability to carry the sword of truth forward for your own behalf is going to serve you so well. The following what it is that lights you up is going to serve you so well. It's your time. It's, it's your turn. That's what I got. That's complete. Beautiful. Beautiful. And this is soon. Don't let it throw you. It's it's a scary thing, but don't let it throw you. You need to do what lights you up and take care of yourself a little bit. It's time. You're overdue, honey. All right. Ooh.